Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna get into my top five truly wireless earbuds for the gym. Now, a lot of people have been asking me to make a what's in my gym bag update video, and I'm gonna do that real soon. Now, I had a shoulder injury, so I haven't been working out for the last six months, but I'm all healed up. And starting August 1st, I joined a 30-day challenge of diet and exercise, so we're going back in full throttle. Now, before I get into my gym earbuds, let me give y'all an update on some of my other favorite earbuds from One More. First up, we got the One More Evo Buds. Now, these are gonna run you 170 bucks. These are top tier active noise canceling earbuds. Now, if y'all see my full review on these, I love these, but there was only one thing missing. When you go to the app, there wasn't any EQ settings. Now, One More hit me up and they said, check out the new app and watch this. Now, when you go to the app, Let's go to sound options. Check this out. You got sound ID. That's gonna let you customize your hearing, personalized settings. You got 12 preset EQs. Okay, that's pretty dope. But my favorite, custom EQs. So you see I got the floor settings. Okay, y'all know the V pattern that I love. Custom EQ settings. That makes these earbuds even better. Okay, so you had top tier that went even better. Now, if y'all seen my video for the Google Pixel Buds Pro, remember I told y'all I like the Evo Buds better? This is why. Customizable EQ settings. Okay, so for 170 bucks, these are top tier. Next up, you got the Comfo Buds Mini. Now, if you like one more uh, signature sound, but you wanna spend a little bit less money, go with the Comfo Buds Mini. Now, these come in three different colors. Okay, these are gonna run you 100 bucks. You got active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and you got sound ID to let you customize, personalized sound settings, okay? Now, everybody been asking me my favorite budget earbuds. And again, from one more, we got the Piston Buds Pro. Now these are gonna run you 60 bucks. You got active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and 12 preset EQ settings. Now, I know somebody's gonna say, what about the Sound Beats Mini? Those are a little bit cheaper, and I like those too, but they can't compete with the Piston Buds because these have active noise cancellation, the Sound Beats don't, and these have an app that gives you personalized sound settings. Okay, now he's gonna run you 60 bucks. So make sure y'all check out the One More Earbuds lineup. Now, let's get started. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. White shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. I, I said that nice and light. I don't want to wake you up. I calm down. Stay. You're already kind of calm. Remain calm. Now, before I get into my top five, a lot of people have been asking me to check out two sets of earbuds. So we're gonna do that first. First, we're gonna check out the Anchor, all right, Soundcore Sport X10s. Okay, now these are gonna run you 80 bucks. Now I'm not gonna go through all of the features. I'm not gonna turn this into a big review. I'm just gonna try them out and see how they sound. Okay, so let's get the poke in and let's check, check these out. Rah. One more. Rah. One more. <laughs> see what I did there? Okay, now did I get these? Let's see. Okay, anger level's increasing. We're gonna have to get the poking again. Okay, rah. Okay, here it is. <laughs> okay, the Soundcore Sport X10s. Okay, 80 bucks on these. Now, the reason I wanted to check these out for the gym is because these have the air hooks. Okay, these got the air hooks. Okay, they seem nice and lightweight. Okay, again, not a full review. Let me grab a phone and pair these up. I just want to see how they sound. All right, so I just paired these up. I got them all set up and I put them in my ears and these are definitely earbuds for the gym because of those wings. Now, let me show you how they're gonna look. Just like that, these are not gonna go anywhere. But just to be safe, let's do the head shake test. I'm gonna start off with minimum shakeage. Not a single movement, intermediate shakeage. No movement, maximum shakeage. Ah! No movement at all. Again, that wing is keeping these right in place. Now these do have an app. Let's check that out real quick. Okay, so you got some workout stuff, but most importantly, you got an EQ. 
All right, so you see I got my custom EQ settings on deck, and these do have active noise cancellation and ambient sound mode. Okay, so now let's do a little sound test. Now this song been stuck in my head all day. All right, it came on the radio this morning. <laughs> T-Pain, all right, and uh, E-40, you and that booty. <laughs> Here we go, now this song got some nice bass. Let's just do a little sound test. Okay, here we go. Sit play. Woo, okay. Sorry, shoes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> nice little bass drop immediately. Okay. Girl, I was taking and taking and move. Trying to get to you with that booty. Trying to get to you with that booty. Oh, these sound great. Mad bass on these. And get to you and that monkey. Trying to get that monkey. <laughs> and that monkey. Limping. Walk up in the club with a limping. Now listen, what you gonna do with this pimping? What you gonna do with this pimping? All right, hold up. Okay. <laughs> Let's hit for <laughs> What you gonna do? All right, hold up. All right. Now, like I said, this is not gonna be a full review. I just wanted to test them out real quick because I'm on my way to the gym. Okay, and I'm gonna test them out in the gym, but these sound great, all right? They actually sound great. Y'all already know sound core head uh, earbuds, they never disappoint. So let's drop them back in the case. Okay, let's see, now I just fold this up like this. Okay, let's see, I put this one upside down. Okay, here's how I look in the case. Bong, just like that. Okay, so those will be 80 bucks. Now there's one more set of earbuds I wanna check out. <laughs> see, I did it again. Before I go to the gym, somebody asked me to check out the Sennheiser True Wireless Sport. Okay, now these are gonna run you 100 bucks. All right, they're on sale right now. I checked this morning on Amazon, 100 bucks. Okay, let's grab the little unboxing knife now. Again, if you wanna go through all of the features, just check them out online. We're just gonna keep this nice and short. Here we go. Now y'all know how I feel about Sennheiser headphones already. These should be no different. Let's see how they look. Okay, they kinda look like the CX Plus. Let's see, same kind of style case. But these actually have the little wing tips. Okay? The wing tips are important for when you're working out. All right, so let me pair these up and then we'll do a little sound test. All right, so I just paired these up, got everything all set up. I put them in my ears. And just like the sound cores, these are definitely for the gym. Now, let's do the head shake test real quick. I'm going to start off with minimum shakeage. Okay, they didn't move at all. Intermediate shakage. Okay, nothing. Maximum shakage. Ah, no movement. Okay, now here's how they're going to look. And the reason they're not moving around is you see that wingtip right in my ear. Okay, she so just got the perfect fit. Now, these also have an app. Okay, no active noise cancellation on these. But most importantly, you got EQ. Okay, so now let me take it over to one of my other gym songs. We got Be Love, Can't Help But Wait. All right, this is one of my workout songs when I'm ready to get in the mood. So let's try it out. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, they sound nice and clean. <laughs> okay. All right. I feel that bass rumbling. Okay. I can't help it. These niggas, I swear they ain't help shit. On hot with a rip, try to melt shit. She be popping through that shit. And you know that I tell her don't stop it, pop it. We said I've got to flock it. That boy dissing, he talking all nonsense. He try to bet, take a while off the op list. You know I can't let up. Like, damn. All right, hold up. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, these actually sound pretty good, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. The sound cores sound better than these. All right, the sound cores are definitely louder and have more bass. They just sound better. Now these do sound pretty good, but if I had to choose between these and the sound cores, I would go with the sound cores for sound and fit. They definitely fit a little bit better, more snug. Now, I'm gonna run to the gym right now. I'm gonna test out a couple of uh, other sets of earbuds, and I'm gonna come back and rank my top five truly wireless earbuds for the gym. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now I just came back from doing some thorough testing at the gym. And on a side note, I hope y'all appreciate this because I was switching earbuds in between each set and people was looking at me like I'm crazy, but I'm doing this in the name of science. So let's rank these. Now, when I'm looking for gym earbuds, I got three things that I find important. Number one, 
the fit. That's the most important thing to me, the fit. There's nothing like doing a set, okay, and then maybe you're on an incline bench or the decline bench, and when you're trying to get those last couple of reps, you feel the earbud slipping out of your ear, or every time you finish a set or a couple of reps, you gotta keep adjusting them again, that will destroy your workout, all right? Trust me, I hate that. So the number one thing for me is the fit. Then the number two thing is the sound. Now, it doesn't matter if the earbuds fit great and they sound like trash, that's not, that's not gonna work. All right, so the fit and the sound. Now, the last thing, this is pretty important for me, depending on what time I go to the gym, active noise cancellation. Now, at my gym, if I go there at five o'clock in the morning, between five and seven, they don't have any music on at all. So I can pretty much use any set of earbuds, they're gonna sound great. But if I go there at seven o'clock in the evening, or if I go there on the weekend, depending on who's working, there's a good chance they're gonna be playing Britney Spears, John Legend, <laughs> okay, Mariah Carey. Now look, I got nothing against those artists, but when I'm working out, I like to hear some Thug Life music to get me pumped up, you know, Tupac, Mob Deep, you know, Biggie Smalls, some shit to get me in the mood. And trust me, Britney Spears and Mob Deep song playing at the same time is not a good combination, okay? So you need active noise cancellation to drown out the gym music if you're not into that kind of music. Here's my top five. Number one on my list, okay? Now, these are my favorite Truly Wireless earbuds for the gym, the Power Beats Pro. All right, did I say Power Beats Pro? <laughs> Let me say that again. The Beats Fit Pro. <laughs> the Beats Fit Pro. These are my favorite Truly Wireless earbuds for the gym. Ever since the day that I got these, these are the most used earbuds that I got right now in the gym. First of all, the fit is phenomenal. Okay, these are not gonna move in your ears. Now, when I go to the gym, I like to use an iPhone because one of my favorite playlists is on Apple Music. So these pair up with your iPhone instantly, okay? You're gonna get that lossless music. And of course, you got active noise cancellation. So these uh, check all three of my boxes. The fit is perfect, the sound is perfect, active noise cancellation, perfect. These are the perfect earbuds for the gym. Now these are gonna run you 180 bucks, but they're worth every penny. Okay, Beats Fit Pro, that's number one. Number two on my list, I'm going with the JBL Reflect Flow Pro. Now these are gonna run you 180 bucks. I love these, okay, I love these. Check these out, now these got these wings. Okay, now you're, when you see these wings, you know they're not gonna move around. But these wings are nice and big, giggity. They're not gonna move around at all. The sound quality is terrific. You already know about JBL. So this has thunderous bass, top tier noise cancellation. Again, 180 bucks, worth every penny. Okay, JBL Reflect Flow Pro number two. Number three on my list. Now this is what I meant to say the first time. Power Beats Pro. Now, this is the Fragment Edition, but the regular ones sound exactly the same. Power Beats Pro. This might be my second or third most used earbuds in the gym. I like using these in the morning because these don't have active noise cancellation, but these are the perfect earbuds if you plan on doing cardio. All right, if you go to the gym and you like to go into a little workout, you know, the empty workout room and practice your craft maga, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're doing 101 backflips like me. These are the best fitting earbuds when it comes to the full wing. I'm telling you, now the Beats Fit Pro and the JBLs, both of them, they're not gonna move. But these, I'm telling you, you could fall down the stairs with these three times in a row, these will not move. Okay, so if you like to go in the gym and spar and you know practice your MMA moves, these are the ones. Bike riding, anything you wanna do, these go all the way around your ear, they are not gonna move. They sound great. Again, if you got an iPhone, you're gonna get the lossless music. I love these, okay? The only thing missing on these is active noise cancellation, so I don't really rock these when I go to the gym at night, since I have ones that do have ANC. Why use no NC, ANC, if you got ANC? Number four on my list. Now, I'm going with the, now anyway, for the Power Beats Pro, these is also 180 bucks. Number four on my list, I'm going with the Soundcore X10. Now, similar to the Power Beats, these have that little wing that go around, Okay, so I couldn't get these to move at all. They sound great. The noise cancellation was okay. Now, this is not top tier noise cancellation. It's okay tier noise cancellation, but the music sounded really good. The bass is thunderous. They're nice and loud. And most importantly, that fit. You're gonna get that fit that's not gonna move around at all. So these are perfect gym earbuds for 80 bucks. 
Now, I just gotta get the habit, <laughs> get in the hang of um, putting these back in the case. There it goes, you gotta put them in like this. Listen, you gotta look for the magnets. I got, I got the post-workout, <laughs> the post-workout shakes. Anyway, we'll play with those in a minute. Last on my list. That, 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 that is the only probably the one thing I don't like about these. Like putting them back in the case is a little bit, it's a little bit annoying. Let's see. It's a little bit on the annoying side. I want to do that right. Okay. Yeah, sound cool. For some reason, they, they put the left on the right side. I don't understand that. That's what keeps throwing me off. Okay, but they still great <laughs> for 80 bucks. Last on my list. I'm going with the Sennheiser Sports. I had the Sennheiser Sports. Now, honestly, these cost 100 bucks. The sound cores sound better, and they're cheaper, and they have ANC. So they're pretty much better in every single way. But these do have an excellent fit. They have a great sound, just not the loudest in the world. Now, I play with all the different settings, all the different ear tips. Not the loudest ones in the world. The CX and the CX Plus definitely sound better. That's why these are the cheapest Sennheiser versions. The sound quality kind of gives it a hump, makes it makes you understand why they're a little bit cheaper than the CX Plus. Anyway, no ANC on these. Excellent fit, excellent sound, customizable EQ. Okay, for a hundred bucks. Now, on a side note, I have one more that I actually used to use, the Project Rocks. Okay, now these are pretty good. But after you use the JBLs, you're not going to want to use these ones anymore. And everything that I just mentioned, all of these earbuds actually sound better. Even the Sennheisers sound a little bit better than these. All right, so we're going to have to retire the Project Rocks. If you can find these somewhere on sale for 50 bucks, I would jump on them. But I would not spend over 80 bucks on these because if you're going to spend $81, you might as well get these for 80 right, So I wouldn't buy these for less for anything over 80 bucks. Okay, you might find them on eBay somewhere for cheaper, but these got bumped out of my top five. Anyway, this is my top five truly wireless earbuds for the gym. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. And on the side note, okay, one last side note. If any of y'all want to join the 30-day challenge with me, hit me up in the comments. I'm going to let y'all know what I'm doing. Now, this is not an official, you know, challenge where you got to follow a specific diet and all that. I'm just going on the 30. I'll, actually, I'll tell you what it is right now. I'm going on the 30-day straight. I'm not drinking no soda, no juice, only water. Okay, I'm trying to eat minimum carbs. I mean, a lot of grilled chicken, a lot of tuna fish, a lot of boiled eggs, a lot of salad, a little bit of red meat every now and then if I go out, okay? But I'm definitely not eating no donuts, no fried chicken, no cupcakes, no cookies, no ice cream, none of that bullshit for 30 days. We're going back in full throttle. Now, I'm working with beer grips. All right, y'all remember when I did the What's in My Gym Bag video? Y'all seen the beer grips? I posted a picture a couple of days ago on Instagram and they reposted it and they hit me up and was like, yo, they coming out with a new gym bag and some new gym accessories. I said, perfect. Now that I'm back up in the gym, this will be my motivation to do my what's in my gym bag update for 2022. So that's coming real soon. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys or lamb. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be broke. It's your boy Floss now. Do so. Fuck one to be mo. Captain, get a prize out. Energy. We're in a situation where everybody in the world uses technology. 
And if you're gonna buy some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things. Subscribe to Flossy Carter. He does reviews of all the latest technology. The iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck. The Beats by that doctor guy. And he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.